welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh N. I'm, re I'm reviewing, people always ask me, well, does every trade you do work? No, some trades I take lose. This was a loser today. We lost in this. It's continuing here late into the afternoon. You could probably actually short this right now, but we took a stop in this today. The whole point of sizing yourself correctly is the very fact that every trade you take has a possibility of winning or losing. So my system I created to keep the odds in my favor, when I rate a gap and it rates 20 points or more, I feel it's a higher odds of working than failing. So that's the whole point of going through that 26 point system in the morning. But this rated well and did not work this morning and we took a stop. Again, this was not an earnings gap. I did like this gap. It is working late in the day. This probably falls into the close and actually tomorrow morning. Sometimes when I take a stop in an early trade, I will retake it. I did not retake this today because we did JPM as well and that had such a big move. But again, this is gonna probably gonna keep falling here and it really was a nice little gap. It was just a little slushy this morning and the market was up this morning so that might have worked against this too. So the purpose of trading is to set your risk so that you don't have an unlimited risk so that the trades that work work and you can make money in them and you don't have to have this huge loss in like one losing trade. So you size your risk according to your cash account, the amount of buying power you have, the cost of the stock, all of these things. I review this in the Golden Gap course, but whether it's $500, $1,000, $200, whatever you decide your risk is, you put a stop in, it's called, I call it a hard stop, but it's a limit order stop where I will lose if it stops me out, which this did. So we have to stop at this at 109.30. Um, let me just go over this here. And again, you, you know, this is probably gonna fall into the close, but it took us out here right into this area. So, you know, we shorted it, it was a good entry. Started to look like it was gonna go lifted, didn't have a problem with that, didn't have a problem with that, moved it up. No, even look good here. But again, we were ready to stop. But anyways, this even looked good here like it was gonna finally do it. And then it ended up rallying, rallying, rallying. In fact, this didn't really start to break down. It looks like till close to about one o'clock here. Even now this is being stubborn though. This really shouldn't have gone over 109 at all today. But, you know, when you look at the market, it's tanking right now. This actually should be at the low of the day. It should be at 106. It should be at 105. It should be through 105. So you can possibly watch this for tomorrow. I think there's going to be many, 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 many better things to do tomorrow morning. There's lots of stuff out tonight, earnings-wise. There's going to be good gaps tonight. I know it. But, again, this was something that was a failed bearish gap that did not work today as a day trade, and we took the stop. So... I'll be looking for more things to do when I get up in the morning tomorrow. And if you have any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.